New York City, my hometown. Known for many things, the concrete jungle, constant tourism, lots of traffic, and a vibrant, bustling nightlife. Jealous the world over, an incredible skyline. Just look at that thing. Did I mention the traffic? Even though it might be known for its vast buildings, it's not really known for its greenery. That's why today, I'm going to be discussing my four favorite New York City parks. Number one. Bryant Park. Me and my girlfriend, seen here, had to take the 7 train all the way to Bryant Park since we live in Queens. It's not too bad of a commute, about 30-ish minutes or so. A bit of a walk to the park from the train station. It was a beautiful day, so it's going to be really packed. Not to mention that today is the Winter Village, Bryan Park's annual festival where local vendors set up shop to sell their goods. Plenty of doggos. More dog stuff. More dogs. <laughs> Just in case we forgot where we were and what we're doing. We're not much of ice skaters, so we don't mind just people watching. Some affirmations for the day. We didn't know who that was, but he looked like a cool guy. We ran into a TikToker. I honestly had no clue. He apparently just tweeted like 40 minutes ago and we just happened to run into him. Here we are at Kinokuniya, my favorite anime manga store, right above Ryan Park. Great place to hang out and get an awesome view of the park. Not sure what this was, but it looked interesting. Even though it's right in the middle of all these buildings, it's just a nice refresher to just have a bunch of greenery right in the middle of all that. Number two, Central Park. From Byron Park, 
we had to, I believe we took the F train to 57th Street. Here you see my girlfriend swiping the Metro card. Some really cool art on the train today. Here we are being good Samaritans. Your back's open. Oh, thank you so much. I had some really great shots at Central Park today. It was gorgeous with the fall weather and the leaves. Beautiful. In case you want to stop hearing my voice. Just look at that. Local ice skating rink. Even though it doesn't feel like winter, it's still open for the public. More doggos. On top of the Central Park rocks. Awesome bike trails. Always shout out my local musicians. Killed it on those drums. More doggos. You're starting to see a trend here, aren't you? Again, I just love Central Park because it's just surrounded by all of this metal and finance and concrete and in the middle is just lush greenery. I need you guys to listen up. Now today you're gonna to see something crazy. crazy. Now today you're gonna to see something different. different. There's gonna be a black guy running real fast with no police behind him. No. Make some noise! Yeah. New Yorkers aren't nothing without our dark humor. This spot always reminds me of Home Alone. <laughs> More dogs. Sick view. Number three, Washington Square Park. From Central Park, we had to take the 5th Avenue R train all the way to 8th Street and NYU. Busy day means crowded trains. But we made it in one piece. was going to go to NYU, but it was way too expensive. But I still have a lot of friends that went there, so I would hang out in Washington Square Park pretty often. More dogs. And free hugs.
you could always find a lot of very interesting characters here, and some superheroes occasionally. Sick art as always. Local musicians abound. Beautiful, beautiful shots. I love fall in New York City. The fashion. I've always wanted to take this shot. Sun starting to set, so it just looks so incredibly pretty here. To walk back to the train, we had to take a pit stop at McDougal, go through the park because we went the wrong way. Another shot of this because why not? R.I.P. the original Palm Frites, Artichoke Pizza, you have to if you're ever visiting New York City. Got a little lost in these tiny streets, but we made it. And brick. Number 4. The High Line. From West 4th Street and Washington Square Park, we had to take the A, C, or E train. We ended up on the C. All the way to 14th Street on the west side. We got off at the 16th Street side. And the High Line is actually all the way by the river, so we have to walk two more avenue blocks to get to the High Line. But we made it. Warm welcomes. It is the date spot to end all date spots. But don't tell my girlfriend that. Now that sun sets upon us, these views are just gonna take your breath away, honestly. Sick jacket. The High Line actually used to be an abandoned um, subway train line that was just abandoned for years. You can see the remnants still there and it was just completely abandoned. This whole area used to be a little sketch until I believe Mayor Bloomberg decided to completely reconstruct it and make it into um, an above ground park. And now it's one of the signature tourist attractions of New York City. You can see artwork displayed above ground, another sick jacket, more awesome artwork. Don't know what that is, but it's cool. 
really, really crowded today. We had to take a seat. <laughs> we were getting pretty tired after four barks a day. Like I said, it's a day spot. Great for families too. You can see shots of the river. More crowds, but we stayed safe and wore our masks. More warm welcomes, more awesome, awesome just scenery. A lot of people wanted to see where the sunset was. So I just pointed them in the right direction. Yeah, it's usually just that direction towards the water. Sun rises in the east and sets in the west. That's just how I get around. Another break. More couples. Tell me about it. find some really cool architecture around here. So sun's starting to set so we're trying to get back as quickly as possible so we can get some really nice shots. Really creepy Statue of Liberty. More local musicians, you gotta love them. And tell me about it. Look at that. Just look at that. Insane. Man, I love where I live. I have no words. I have no words. God bless America. And God bless New York City. We were really tired after four parks a day. And we wish you guys enjoyed what we have so far. But we're going to start heading home. More people had the same idea. After four parks today, the sun finally set and it's finally time to head home. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this vlog, of me covering four parks outside New York City that a lot of people really don't uh, recognize I don't really live here. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and have a blessed day.